Hello. Uh, so we're going to talk about um, The Lover's Portrait today, which is by Jennifer S. Alderson. Um, and I, you know, I'm a military historian, as some of you might know, so this is manna from heaven for me. Um, what, what was wonderful about it is it's set in Amsterdam, so a city I know nothing about, really. Um, and so I had all the sort of interest of, of a new place for me. Um, and there's a lovely... Um, uh, threading of the modern day situation where a museum um, has artefacts, stolen art from the war, Second World War occupation of the Netherlands um, and are putting on an exhibition to, in the hope that people will come forward and claim the art um, and that does happen but more than one person comes forward and, and through the book you have a, a sort of um, not an exact match, but, but through the book there are chapters which start to explain the story from the war uh, and the people involved. And you slowly, oh, maybe I'm slow, but you slowly start to think, oh, I wonder if that's that and I wonder if he's th them and I wonder if they're related and that sort of thing. And so it's just a really beautifully crafted book because it takes you, you know, it takes you back and brings you forward without getting whiplash, which sometimes I've had in, in books that, that jump time. Um, and it very gently lays out the story. Um, I mean, I think I figured it out, um, but, but that didn't, I wasn't 100% right. You know, there were, all, there were always little bits to learn and, and to take on, and it was just beautifully done. Um, really gripping story. Um, uh, a couple of people, you know, get bludgeoned and things so it's quite exciting it's not a kind of um it doesn't shy away from being dramatic it's quite dramatic and also it's it i think it has a lovely um respect for the occupation and for the situation not just of jews but of homosexuals during um the nazi um period and i and I like the way it explores all of that without it being in your face, without it being sort of overtly, you must learn about this because it's important. Um, you know, it's a very gentle way of looking through some of the archives and kind of exploring some of these things that happened. And actually, who does own this art? Um, you know, was it sold? Was it given? Was it payment for transport? Was it, um, you know hidden so that someone would a member of the family would later come back and claim it and um so it raises lots of really important topics in a very accessible way um and and i think it promotes really great discussion it would be a fantastic book for a book group um and i'm going to ask jennifer if we can have it for our um book group our virtual book group um which i'll do another post on in a minute um, because I think it, it, there's so much there you can talk about. It's a really meaty book. Um, but it's also kind of, it's not heavy. It sounds like it could be heavy when it's talking about these topics, but it's really not. It's a really enjoyable read. I really enjoyed it. And it's part of, um, I didn't realise, um, but it's part of a series. So the main character um, appears in other books by Jennifer, um, which I'd now quite like to read because this idea of art and, and travel... Um, and and a little bit of a, of a mystery is really appealing to me so I shall investigate those further and you may hear more uh, about Jennifer um, uh, if I get the opportunity to read more of her books so go get it, it's good <laughs>